Hello people out there on YouTube land and possibly from Reddit too. Yes, I am making this video specifically for a thread on Reddit that is about uh, microphone choice, uh, different microphones you can buy, that kind of stuff for singers specifically. And uh, I wanted to contribute to that thread, so today I'm making a video on how to position your mic properly. Okay, so let's get started. So, first of all, just a couple uh, off note things, get a pop filter. One of these. Very important. This is a uh, Samson PS01 pop filter. It's, uh, it's a bit, little bit smaller than most pop filters usually are. Uh, double layered. You want to get a double layered one, absolutely. Um, and then you just mount it like that and put it in front of the mic. Very important, okay? Can demonstrate to you how it's without a pop filter. See that? Okay, good. <laughs> now that we got that out of the way, oh, well actually not, I'm placing it a little bit closer to the mic than I usually would, just so you know, you can see my face. Uh, <laughs> but let's get started, what is microphone positioning, or how should you do it rather? Um, first of all, take the microphone, place it at mouth level, right, okay, that's pretty close, something like that, and then point it directly at your mouth, that is the first starting position you should try out, you can try out uh, from above or from below as well, um, you can try and point it a little down, that will cut off a little bit of the high frequencies, good for uh, if you want to record some, uh, some chorus, I guess, um, several vo voices and harmonies and that kind of stuff, um, but as a basis, just mouth level and point it at your mouth. That will get you some very good results, okay? Now distance is probably the most interesting thing you can play around with. Right now I'm about, mm, what, what should we say, 15, 18, maybe 20 centimeters away from the mic. Let's just say 15, all right? 15 centimeters, that's a pretty good starting point. That's where you'll get um, good results every time. You'll get a crisp sound, you'll get uh, a, an enunciated, um, lots of high frequencies, lots of little details, that kind of stuff, and present as well. It's, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a relatively crisp kind of sound you'll get from that. So if that's what you're going for, that's great. If you wanna make an acoustic song with a, uh, you're playing an acoustic guitar and you have a pretty loud vocal that you want to be right up there in your face, this is a good way to go. For example, um, for some singing styles, going closer might be a good idea. Uh, for example, for speech, when I do my uh, radio broadcaster voice, I want to get a little closer to the mic to utilize what's called the proximity effect. And the proximity effect just kind of uh, boosts the bass frequencies when you get close to the mic. This only works for mics that have a cardioid pattern. Um, so that's also an interesting uh, thing to note. If you want to boost the bass like that, you can also do that later, uh, but it sounds pretty cool when you... Uh, do it like in real life uh, acoustically now what I like to do a lot is actually move away from the mic let's say about this far um, and this is gonna change the tonality of everything that's going on very in a very interesting manner alright basically it's gonna uh, make your sound a lot less crisp it's gonna make it more smooth and more natural sounding if you get too far away, you'll get a lot of uh, echo and reverb from the room, and that's going to sound bad, so you don't want to get too far away. But about here, that's going to give a very natural sound, and I really personally personally like that. So I'm going to give you a couple samples of how the different ones sound when you're singing, and then you can go decide for yourself what you want to do. And one more thing, point the microphone the right way, please. There's usually a, like, an icon on the front there, so just look for that. <clears throat> My tears are falling down in this wasted land. Maybe I'm dreaming. My tears are falling down in this wasted land. Maybe I'm dreaming. All right, you got that? That's pretty cool, right? Yeah, you can change the tonality that way. And it's always going to sound good if you just do it the 15 centimeter thing, you're always going to get a good result, so that's a great starting point. Alright, thanks for watching, uh, goodbye, I hope this helped you, and uh, comment below.